the Victory Vision Tour is so out of this world, you wouldn't be surprised if little green men stepped out of a pannier. But underneath the outrageous size and style is a damned good big twin tour loaded with gadgets. The Vision handles far better than it should it's like a super sport bike next to its main rival, the Harley Davidson Electric Glide. The suspension smoothly damps out bumps and copes admirably with the weight without pitching and bouncing, especially if you pump the rear air shock up. Braking is ok it does the job as long as you don't hope to hammer on the brakes at the last minute everywhere. ABS is standard for 2010, which helps. The 1731cc Freedom engine in the Vision isn't the fastest thing in the world, but surprisingly for a big narrow angle twin it's smooth, and holds out onto its power through the rev range rather than running out of puff. It makes enough torque that a pillion or luggage makes little impact. Above 90 it starts to strain against the barn door ferry and it'll do it, but high speed isn't the point of the Vision. Victory is still a growing brand so a solid reputation for reliability is a few years away, but there's no major faults reported with any of the bikes using the same engine, and MCN put 7000 miles on a vision with only a minor software issue afflicting the stereo. Service intervals are disappointingly short at 2500 miles though long foreign trips will require careful timing if you don't want to go past the service interval. Built quality is stunning the victory badges on the fairing light up at night for the final needless, but cool, touch. Dull motorways are made more interesting by the victory you can marvel at the buttons for hours. Cruise control and a high quality stereo, complete with iPod jack to control it through the dash, plus heated seats and grips. A reverse gear is fitted to help move the behemoth backwards, and impress onlookers. Comfort is excellent, allowing you to use all the 200 plus miles fuel range in one hit. 